And here's a story that's been remarkable, especially when it comes to the space sector, as astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore have returned home after their eight-day mission to the International Space Station that turned into over a nine-month-long stay. They flew on a Boeing Starliner to space on 5th of June last year and returned in SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft on the morning of 19th March. Here's more. And splashdown, Crew 9 back on Earth. A harrowing finish to the end of a long journey. Parachutes deployed, slowing the capsule barreling towards Earth. The Crew 9 astronauts landed off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. And SpaceX Freedom, splashdown. NASA astronaut Nick Haig and Russian cosmonaut Alexander Gorbunov rode alongside Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, finally back to Earth splashing down Tuesday evening after Butch and Sonny spent more than 285 days aboard the International Space Station. The Boeing Starliner they rode up to space in was deemed unfit for them to return on due to helium leaks and propulsion issues. The pair was able to hitch a ride back home aboard a SpaceX Dragon capsule. We see main shoots cut. Nick, Alex, Butch, Sonny, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. After their splashdown, recovery vessels zoomed up to the Crew Dragon, standing at the ready after the capsule plunged back into the atmosphere. SpaceX recovery ship named Megan used a large rig to haul the capsule carrying the astronauts out of the water. Afterwards, the crew was slated to be flown to Ellington Field and finally taken here to nearby Johnson Space Center to eventually be reunited with their families. The big issue is the, these two astronauts miss their families. The astronauts were originally slated to be away from home for an eight-day mission, but had their timeline extended to nine months. Back here on Earth, their capsule was greeted by dolphins. At the Johnson Space Center, I'm Lee Waldman. But here are the concerns. Bone and muscle deterioration, radiation exposure and vision impairment are some of the challenges space travelers have to face upon their return to Earth after a prolonged stay. Take a look at this report on the reality of astronaut recovery. After 286 days in space, Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore are back on Earth. Their return wasn't just a mission milestone. It marked a beginning of a grueling 45 days rehabilitation program to help their bodies readjust to gravity. As their SpaceX Crew Dragon splashed down off Florida coast, rescue teams rushed in to extract them. But there was one problem. They couldn't stand. The once strong astronauts accustomed to floating effortlessly had to be carried out on stretchers. Returning to Earth's gravity after months in space is like wearing a lead suit. Muscles that haven't been used to support body weight shrink and bones become brittle. Rehabilitation will continue. Uh, there's a, a sequence of um, exercises that they do to try to regain their physical strength over a number of weeks. The trainers that do this work will kind of follow each crew member, whether it be Butch and Sonny or the others. You know, we, we talk about Butch and Sonny because they had a nine month stay, but the others had you know, uh, 171 day stay or so, so which is pretty typical. And looking at, at the way as they came out of Dragon, they all looked very healthy. You could tell they all looked like they were feeling about normal for the, the landing and recovery phase where their body's trying to readapt. I haven't heard any reports of anything other than that they're doing well. The biggest challenge, walking again. NASA estimates astronauts lose up to 50% of their muscle mass and 20% of their bone density during long duration missions. This means every step is a struggle in the first few days. To regain strength, Williams and Wilmore will undergo a three-phase rehab program at NASA's Johnson Space Center. Phase 1 focuses on ambulation, flexibility and muscle strengthening. Phase 2 adds cardiovascular and proprioception training. Phase 3, the longest phase, focuses on functional development and preparing them for normal life. Each day they will train for two hours, rebuilding strength, endurance and balance. 
family support is crucial in their recovery. Williams has spoken about how eager she is to reunite with her loved ones and her two dogs. But it's not just muscles and bones. The invisible toll of space travel is even more alarming. Cardiovascular collapse. The heart shrinks in space because it doesn't work as hard. On Earth, astronauts are at risk of fainting due to poor blood circulation. There is a vision damage as well, a condition called space flight associated neuroocular syndrome or SANS causes blurred vision and lasting eye damage due to fluid pressure in the skull. There is also radiation exposure. Williams and Wilmore absorbed radiation equal to 270 chest X-rays, raising long-term cancer risks. Despite these risks, NASA research has shown that astronauts often recover fully and sometimes even emerge stronger than before. Williams and Wilmore's journey isn't over. Their return highlights a bigger debate, the safety of Boeing's Starliner program and the physical limits of human space travel. Their nine-month mission was never planned. It was test flight gone wrong. Now NASA will analyze their recovery to refine future Mars and Moon missions. One thing, however, is certain. The road to recovery will be long. But if history has shown us anything, Astronauts like Sunita Williams always rise to the challenge.